the components required for this experiment are node mc board breadboard flame sensor led buzzer connecting cable and connecting wires Now go to the Arduino IoT cloud website, click on the sign in button, here enter the username and password and click sign in. Now from the left side menu go to things and here click the plus thing button. Here we need to rename this thing, click on the rename button and give the name as fire alert notification and click on the rename button now we need to create a variable click on this add button and create the variable name as fire detected and this variable should be a boolean variable because the trigger will accept only boolean variable type select boolean here we no need to do any changes click on the add variable button Now click select device, here select set up new device and here we need to select third party device. Here we are using ESP8266 board, so select the model as node MCU 1.0 and click on the continue button. Here we need to give device name, I am giving tech trends fire alert. Click on the next button, here copy the secret key select this checkbox and click on the continue button and click done now we need to configure the network for that click on this configure button here enter the wi-fi username and wi-fi password here we need to copy the secret key which we co which we copied before and click on the save button Now select this menu and go to trigger. Here we need to create a new trigger. For that click this button trigger. Here we need to give the, we can rename this trigger name. Click rename trigger and we can give any name. I am giving the name as fire alert. Click on the rename button. Now here we need to add the condition. Click on this cloud variable. So this is our thing, fire alert notification, select this and this is the variable. Select the variable and click link variable. Now here we have two actions, send email and send push notification. First we can configure the email, click on this send email button. So if th this condition is satisfied, so it will send an email. So it will send the email to the registered ID, here we can give the subject fire detected also we can give the body of the email that also i am giving us fire detected and click send push notification so here also we need to give the title fire detected in the subject also i am giving in the body also i am giving the description as fire detected now click on the done button Initially the trigger will be in the off state, we need to turn on this trigger to get the alert. Click this and turn on the trigger. Now go back to the things menu and click on the thing name. Now go to sketch and click open full editor. Here the basic template is generated and we need to add the logics. So I have already written the code, I am just copy pasting the code. Let me explain the code. 
So here we are using the sensor LED and a buzzer. So the sensor is connected to pin number 2. LED is to pin number 5. That means GPIO5 which means pin number D1. So this 2 means pin number D4. And buzzer is connected to GPIO4. That means pin number D2 in the node MCU board. So here if the uh, condition is satisfied so it will call the functions send fire status and also activate LED and activate buzzer functions. So if the fire is detected the LED will turn on and the buzzer will also turn on. So if there is no fire the LED will turn off and there will be the buzzer will turn off. Now we need to upload the program. So for that we need to install the Arduino create agent. So I have already installed uh, we need to run the Arduino create agent. Click on run as administrator. Now we can upload the program to the node MCU board. For that click this arrow button. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the node MCU board. Now we can check the output. We will also get the alert notification in the email. 